see the data um, and get live, we're going to go up here to this tab. It's going to be Open ECU. We're going to click this. We're going to find that it uh, retrieves the data. And then it's going to say the ECU data matches the file. Start using matching file or create a new file. So this is going to give us, at this point, the option to utilize the file in the box or create a whole brand new file. I'm just going to say OK and use the matching file because this is going to be the base file that MoTeX supplies as a zero point for everything. So everything in the, in the, essentially in this box is uh, generic and has uh, no, no applicable application uh, for usage. So it's just going to be essentially the generic base map that they would supply. So I'm going to click OK. And as soon as I do that, we can see what we're live now. And if we look uh, through here, we can see some of these tracers are moving here, some live values indicating that we are in a live status. And we're going to find um, that we have the a standard page here. This is going to be the default uh, pages setup that you're going to be looking at when you open your MoTeX software. So we're going to be going and creating pages and doing some custom layouts. But in this video, we're going to be specifically looking at how to work with a calibration file. So now that we've opened this file, we can go in and save the file. We have to make sure that we do that properly. So if we go up to File and we go to Close and Save, we're going to have the ability to close out this and save the file, or we can do Save As or do Save. So if we go into Save As, we can change the name or the, the actual name of it. So this is a start file. We can see this is the generic file you're going to find in your folder. We're going to be doing uh, starting with this file for uh, creating our map and going through this training series. So I'm going to go ahead right now because this is that start file. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to create a new folder in here. And I'm just going to call this EPA training file. And then I'm going to go and save this file as EPA training. And then I'm going to have that file in my, my, uh, my folder here. So I've 